Hey guys, welcome back to another writing lesson with Mr. Brandon. So excited to see everybody here today. So scholars, today is an exciting day because we are going to find out who Scholar of the Week is from last week in first grade. So who do you think it's going to be? All right, let's find out together. So Scholar of the Week from last week with the most minutes on Lexi and Zern is Zach Weatherspoon. <laughs> Yeah, awesome job, Zach. So Zach did a great job getting on Lexia and Zern last week with the most minutes out of anyone in first grade. So awesome job, dude. All right, guys, well, let's get started with our writing lesson today. So first, before we do anything, we need to get our supplies out, right? So go ahead and pause the video and take out a piece of paper and a pencil. So pause the video and take out a piece of paper and a pencil. All right, guys, we got our supplies and we are ready to go. So let's get started with our writing lesson today. So scholars, we've been talking about punctuation marks this week. So we've been talking about punctuation marks this week. So punctuation marks show when we are done with a complete thought, when we are done with a sentence. So scholars, today, the first punctuation mark that we're going to be talking about is an exclamation mark. So we're going to be talking about an exclamation mark today. So scholars, do you know what an exclamation mark is? Hmm. Oftentimes, whenever I think of an exclamation mark, I think of cartoon comic book heroes. And I think of comic books when they, when they have different expressions like pow, boom, stuff like that, that shows strong emotion or excitement. So scholars, let's take a look at a sentence here that shows strong emotion or excitement. All right. So I don't know if you guys know who the superhero Thor is, but that's who I'm writing about today. So we have a sentence here. Let me actually read it, and I'll read it in three different ways, and you tell me which way sounds the most correct. All right? So the first way. Pow. Thor slammed his hammer with a mighty roar. Did that sound right to you? All right, next sentence. Pow. Thor slammed his hammer with a mighty roar. All right, let's check out this last one here. I think this last one's going to sound best. Pow! Thor slammed his hammer with a mighty roar. What do you think of that one? So, scholars, if you want someone to read your sentence that way, we can add an exclamation mark to show that strong emotion. So let's go ahead and do it. So we got pow with an exclamation mark. Thor slammed his hammer with a mighty roar. So we can even add another exclamation mark if we want people to read that sentence with strong emotion as well. But we don't have to. It can also be just a period. But we have pow here. That's showing the most emotion. So guys, that's how we're going to use exclamation marks in our writing. So I want you to pay attention to um, making sure that you're using different punctuation marks in your writing today when we do our writing prompt. So don't just use periods. Use exclamation marks and question marks too. All right, guys. Well, let's take a look here at a sample of what I would like our writing prompt to look like today. So scholars, let's take a look at a sample of what I want our writing to look like today. All right, guys, well, let's start off taking a look at our criteria for our writing lesson today. So kindergarten, you're going to be writing four sentences about the prompt that I give you, paying attention to proper spelling, proper capitalization, proper spacing in between words, and, of course, punctuation marks. Now, first grade, you're going to be doing the same thing, but you're going to be writing a five-sentence paragraph. So you're going to be writing one more sentence. All right, guys. So I know that's a little bit confusing still, but let's, let's take a look at what I'm looking for. So today, we are going to be writing about a new emotion. Today, we're going to be writing about a new emotion. So let's see if you can figure out by the story that I give you what the new emotion is. All right, guys, here's my story. All right, so here's an example of something that you could write for your response to our prompt today. So kindergarten, yours should look something like this, four sentences. My parents took me out to eat last month. So that's the first thing that happened. 
I was excited because we went to my favorite restaurant, Chili's. So notice that I ended that with an exclamation mark because we want to make sure that we're using different punctuation marks throughout our response. I ate a burger and fries. So that was the last thing that happened. So we did first, next, and last. Have you ever been to Chili's? Question mark. So notice that I used a question mark at the end of that sentence. So we had many different punctuation marks in that. So yours could look something like that, kindergarten. Now first grade, you have to write a five sentence paragraph. So let's take a look at one extra sentence that you could add to your description of a time that you felt this strong emotion that we're talking about today. So after I ate burgers and fries, the next sentence that I put was, it was so tasty. So it was so tasty. So I'm describing how the experience was. So guys, make sure that we're giving details about the setting, where it took place. Was it a cold place? Was it a warm place? Was it a restaurant in this case? Also guys, we're going to be paying attention to who was there. Who was in your story? Are we adding characters? So in my story, I have my parents with me. Who will you have in your story? And then lastly, guys, after we pay attention to setting, characters, I also want you to give a description of the events that happened. So for me, I went out to a restaurant and had a burger and fries. So that's what happened in my story. What's going to happen in your story? So All right, guys, can you figure out what emotion I felt in that story? What emotion was I feeling in that story? Hmm, well, there was a hint in there. I was feeling excited, right? I was, ex I was feeling excited. So let's take a look at what it means to be excited. Excitement is when you're really happy about something that's happening. So excitement is when you're really happy about something that's happening. So All right, guys. Well, so excited to see everybody on here today. Congratulations again to Ty and Zach, Scholars of the Week this week. You guys did awesome. So guys, if you want to be Scholar of the Week next week, make sure that you are logging on to Lexi and Zern and getting those minutes in. And guys, also make sure that you're getting on guided reading lessons because we're so excited to see you for those so that we can continue growing our brains together. All right, guys. So today we are writing about a time we felt excited. So I will see you again tomorrow for another writing lesson. I look forward to seeing those writing responses. Bye, guys.